Hello, my name is Beth Manugian. I'm an IBD specialist at the University of Michigan, and welcome to IBD School. In this episode, IBD School 205, we will talk about hair loss in IBD, which is usually caused by something called telogen effluvium. Telogen effluvium is Latin for dead hair pouring off your head, which is a pretty good description. Telogen effluvium occurs one to six months after a flare, typically at about 90 to 100 days, when you find your hair is limp and brittle and you see a lot of hair loss all at once. This can take one to six months to resolve, but will generally resolve on its own, though it tends to get better more rapidly if your IBD is well controlled with no active inflammation. It is so dependable that I like to warn people who have been hospitalized for an IBD flare to put it on their calendars for three months from now. Expect hair to start falling out in the next month. The main reason to tell patients about it is so that they do not blame their medication for the telogen effluvium. If you think about the timing, you are often put on steroids for a flare that requires hospitalization, and your doctor will often adjust your maintenance medication or add a new medication after a flare. It is very common to associate a medication with the hair loss, but it is usually not the medication. It is just a natural process that occurs anytime you get really sick. So, why does having an IBD flare cause your hair to fall out three months later? To explain that, let me step back and talk about how hair grows. At any time, about 90% of your hair is in antigen, or the growth phase. Your body expends energy to grow the hairs on your head, making about one centimeter of new hair per month. Each hair can live about an average of three to six years. Then it makes a transition to the telogen phase. About 10% of your hair is in telogen, the death phase, which lasts about three months. These hairs are no longer alive and will get pushed out and shed when a new hair starts growing in the same follicle. Normally, you shed about one out of every 200 hairs each day. However, when you are severely ill, your body conserves energy by shutting down new hair growth. All of your hair goes into telogen phase. This conserves energy to help you during a bout of inflammation, but you pay the price about 90 days later when all of those telogen hairs start falling out all at once. These hairs are often more dry and weak compared to your normal healthy hair. Telogen effluvium may be more common, or at least more noticeable, in young women. Typically, during telogen effluvium, you can collect all the hair you shed in a 24-hour period, and it will be over 100 hairs. During the recovery period, you can collect and count hairs once a week, and you will find that fewer hairs are shed per 24 hours. Eventually, after three to six months of remission, you will recover your strong, healthy hair. Three factors may slow the recovery of healthy hair continued inflammation of the intestines, low activity of the thyroid gland, and iron deficiency. If you are not recovering your healthy hair, ask your doctor about these three possibilities. I'm Beth Manugian, and thank you for watching IBD School.